Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Let's understand the steps which we will use to find the equilibrium concept. We told that the, the KC value is used to find the equilibrium concentration. In fact, we have solved a couple of examples also. Let's uh, formalize this and understand the steps we use to find the equilibrium concentration. The first thing you do is you write the balanced equation. Balanced equation for the reaction is a must. Once we have the balanced equation, then we have to make a table with initial concentration, the change in concentration and the equilibrium concentration. So we have to create these three things. We'll, we'll do one example to, uh, to explain this. And let's, we'll assume, for example, initial concentration was 5, let's suppose for something, we'll assume the change in concentration is x, the equilibrium concentration will become 5 minus x. Let's assume, I will take some example to clear this concept. And then we have this value, and then we'll, we'll get a quadratic equation, we'll solve it to get the value of x. Once we have the value of x, we can find the equilibrium concentration of all the reactants and products. We will take one example now. So 13.8 gram of N2O4 was placed in 1 liter reaction vessel at 400 Kelvin and allowed to attain equilibrium. The reaction is N2O4 is in equilibrium with 2NO2. All are gas. Total equilibrium pressure was found to be 9.15 bar. We have to find Kc and K. Since pressure is given in bar and also to find Kp, so let's find everything in the Kp terms, bar terms. So initial 1.38 T is equal to 0. 13.8 gram of N2O4 was there and 0 gram of N2O4 was there. Right? And the final pressure was 9.15 bar. So one approach is to convert this bar into moles or you can convert this moles into bar. So let's convert this gram into bar actually. How much pressure this 13.8 uh, grams of N2O4 will create. So pressure is nothing but P is equal to NRT by V. Formula we know. What is the N number of moles? So we know that 92 grams is equal to 1 mole for N2O4 because N2O4 it is 92 if you add the atomic mass. So 92 for a gram of is equal to 1 mole. So 13.8 gram will be what? 13.8 by 92 moles. So this, this is my number of moles. So let me put the value. So N will be what? 13.8 by 92. What is the value of R? 0 0.083 because I'm finding in bar. What is the value of T? T is given 400 kilo given by V. V is 1 liter. So you solve this you get the value is nothing but 4.98 bar. So instead of gram, instead of gram, I'll use T is equal to 0. The pressure was 4.98 bar and this was 0. Right? At T is equal to equilibrium, this will become what? Let's assume that it has released X bar pressure. If it has released X bar pressure, it will create 2X bar pressure. Correct? Because X moles will create 2X moles of this. X moles of N2O4 will create 2X moles of N2O4. So total pressure at equilibrium is what? So total pressure, total pressure at equilibrium is what? 4.98 minus X plus 2X, right? And that is equal to what? 9.15 bar. Correct. So you solve this. So with this, if you solve, you get X is equal to 4.17 bar. So you have the value of X, you have everything now. So pressure of N2O4 is what? N2O4 is 4.98 bar. Right? Minus X is 4.17. That is 0.81 bar. This is the pressure of N2O4. Talk about pressure of NO2. That is what? 2X. That is 2 into 4.17. That is 8.34 bar. This is my Kp and it's a partial pressure. Correct. So I got the partial pressure. I have to find Kp now. Kp is something which I didn't find now till now. So Kp is what? Kp will be pressure of NO2. 
प्रेशर ऑफ एन ओ टू दार टू बाय प्रेशर ऑफ एन टू फोर करेक्ट वट इज द प्रेशर ऑफ एन ओ टू प्रेशर ऑफ एन ओ टू बी फोन वॉज एट पॉइंट थ्री फोर इट विल कम एट पॉइंट थ्री फोर स्क्वायर बाय प्रेशर ऑफ एन टू ओ फोर इज वॉट पॉइंट एट वन बार एंड इज बार स्क्वायर so you solve this you get 85.87 bar that is my kp i have the kp i can find kc easily because in the formula kp is equal to kc rt to the power delta n so what is kp kp is 85.87 is equal to kc into rt that is 0.0831 into t that is 400 delta n is what This is two minus one one. You solve this, KC out comes out to be two point six. Since it was bar, so this becomes moles per meter. Correct. Easy only. See, since I was supposed to find partial pressure, KP, KC all. So I converted the whole uh, this grams of N two O four to partial pressure of N two O four because if you are you can't take uh, this part in grams this part in partial pressure if you are taking partial pressure as a unit here you take partial pressure you take everything in bar if you want to find in the concentration you take everything in mole so here i took everything in bar let's check one more question 3 moles of pcl5 is kept in 1 liter closed uh, reaction vessel Is allowed to reach equilibrium at three eighty Kelvin. Find the composition of reaction mixture. In the case is given one point eight. So what is the reaction? If you give PCl five for some time, it will break into PCl three plus Cl two, all gas. So initially, it was three moles of PCl five. It was zero zero moles. And at T is equal to equilibrium, let's assume that x moles of PCl5 is gone. So x moles of PCl5 will create x moles of PCl3 and x moles of Cl2, all one stoichiometric coefficient. So at this point, my Kc will become what? Concentration of PCl3, concentration of Cl2, and concentration of PCl5. You solve this, what do you get? So PCl, and this is equal to Or as a Kc is what 1.8 is equal to PCl3 concentration is what x into Cl2 is x by 3 minus x. So you solve this, you get x is equal to 1.59. You can solve this. So with this, if my x is equal to 1.59, my PCl5 is what PCl5 will be. I have to find the composition of mixture. PCl5 is what 3 minus x. It is 3 minus 1.59. That is 1. Four one m moles per liter. Concentration of PCl three will be equal to concentration of sorry will be equal to concentration of Cl two, right? And both will be equal to x. That is one point five nine moles. That is my answer. Only the initial moles were given, and I could easily find the concentration of uh, PCl3 and PCl5 and Cl2 in equilibrium when its Kc was given to me. Correct. One mole of H2O and one mole of CO are taken in a 10 liter vessels and heated to 725 Kelvin. At the equilibrium, 40 percent of water by mass reacts with CO. According to this equation, calculate the equilibrium constant. So if you see at t is equal to zero, what have is happening? I have one mole of H two, one mole of CO, and there are zero moles of hydrogen and carbon dioxide. At t is equal to equilibrium, what they are saying? So forty percent of the water is used. So forty percent. So if at uh, equilibrium this becomes one minus x, this becomes one minus x. And this becomes x, and this becomes x. Normal formula we are using, right? So we are assuming that x mole is used. X mole of this will also be used because both are 
having same stoichiometric coefficients. In fact, all are having same stoichiometric coefficients. So reactants x moles will be used and products x moles will be created. So it is said that the x is nothing but 40% of 1 mole because 40% of water is used and water was 1 mole. So x value we know is nothing but 0.4. Correct. So let's put the value of x as 0.4. This becomes 0 0.6. This becomes 0 0.6. This becomes 0 0.4. This becomes 0 0.4. Correct. So we have to find what? The equilibrium constant. So Kc is what? Concentration of H2. Concentration of CO2. Con divided by concentration of H2O. And concentration of CO. Since all our gas, we have to include everything. So this becomes concentration of H2 is what? 0.4. CO2 is what? 0.4. Uh, this guy is 0.6. This guy is 0.6. You solve this, you get 0.44 as an Easy one. And what will be the unit? There will not be any unit because both left hand side, if you see, this becomes uh, 0.4m, 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 0.4m. All gets cancelled. So it has to be 0.4 by 10 because 0.4 mole is there, right? So see, there's a mistake I did actually because I have to give in moles per liter. See, answer will come out to be the same, but it is it has to be moles per liter. And there are 10 liters, and it is 0.4 mole. Right? It's 0.4 moles. 0.4 mole and 0.4 mole. So it will be 0.4. I'll just redo this part. This becomes 0.4 mole by 10 liter into 0.4 mole by 10 liter and this becomes 0.6 mole by 10 liter and 0.6 mole by 10 liter. So what you get is 0.44 and this will become M, all M and this all M will be cancelled. So there will not be any unit for this. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.